CEOs that have all the power and the workers have none, Employee Free Choice Act turns that around and, 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 and empowers workers to have the right to decide uh, whether they want uh, a union or not. It empowers workers to join and form unions. Majority sign up. People will have, the workers will have the ability to say, we would like to have a majority sign up option. So we all sign cards, 50% plus one, magic number. We say, employer, we'd like to start bargaining a uh, contract. St. Francis, you know that the tax service went in and asked management, would they, would they agree to uh, but they agreed to start bargaining immediately and, and, and recognize the union. Guess what? The boss got to decide. The boss said no. Okay. So we had 60% of the people on cards. A, a, a majority of the people at St. Francis in the tech unit and the service unit. But that didn't happen. So we had to go to an election. And it was a long process. So what does the Employee Free Choice Act do? It guarantees a contract when a union when, it, when a group of workers form a union. We bargained for over a year with the techs to get a first contract. Over a year. That's just plain wrong. Workers shouldn't be shut out of the process this way. So what else will the Employee Free Choice Act do? It will strengthen penalties against companies and corporations who break the laws.